He is Dr. Charles Page, otherwise known as Dr. Chuck. He is a rural surgeon in Nacogdoches, Texas, but he's also an author with his new book called Spoonful of Courage, Equations for Finding Grace in Life's Challenges. We sat down with him about the book and his observations as a country doctor. 22% of the population is in rural areas and only about 10% of the doctors are in rural areas. So once again, there's just a lack of resources and so on, on multiple levels. And so, um, and there are many people who, you know, don't have access to big city hospitals. And so it's, it's, a, it's, it's a blessing, uh, kind of a bittersweet kind of thing. It's a blessing and it's also a burden. I mean, you don't have to carry a lot of different hats and uh, I have to deal with often with the lack of resources. And often I'm put in challenges that are, you know, that, that you know, I think might scare, you know, surgeons in another situation. I'm kind of put, uh, you know, my, my skills and my, you know, and, and my thinking are put uh, to the test a lot in situations because I'm all people have, you know? And so, and so it is a challenge. And, uh, but the great thing about being a rural doctor is I get to know my patients. And, uh, and I think that's something that a lot of surgeons don't really have the opportunity to do. And so in a sense, I'm kind of like a primary care doctor, but for surgical problems. So I see patients for all kinds of things and then I get to know them, I get to know their family. And so one of the great things about that is that we begin to have a relationship and it's a relationship based upon trust. A lot of times people will go to see a, you know, a, a city surgeon in an urban area for, for, for a certain expertise that they have. Mm -hmm. People come to see me because they trust me. And it's a very different, it's a very different thing. I mean, so it's a, it's a blessing and a burden. And it is a burden to trust sometimes because sometimes knowing exactly what best fits the patient is sometimes hard to know because there's all these uh, dynamics that are involved in that. You know, sometimes it's, it's an issue of, um, you know, having to travel. There are some people that can't travel long distances. Some people are caregivers and they can't be away from their families. Other people have financial challenges. So it, it's all of these things that you have to bring into the equation. And so, but, but I really feel like that's the key. And one of the things I believe that's missing in healthcare, John, is, is relationship and continuity of care. And so that's one of the things that keeps me going in this crazy, chaotic times that we're living in, you know? <laughs> Do, do you feel that um, healthcare out here, um, because there's not as many resources, there's not as uh, as much money, yep. that it's 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 not as good healthcare? I think in some ways it's much better as far as people's experience. You know what I'm saying? There are things that we can't offer here. You know, and so you know, for example, sometimes we transfer patients to bigger hospitals because just because of lack of resources. And sometimes it's not necessarily expertise. Sometimes it's just, for example, uh, if you have a sick patient in an ICU, that can consume all of your resources, not just your, uh, you know, not just your ventilators or whatever, it consumes, you know, your nursing care. And so a lot of times in a bigger place, they're able to absorb that, that better, uh, not necessarily that they have more expertise than we do, it's just that they have, they have more people to help bear that burden. What's great about your book, Spoonful of Courage, is yep. the fact that you tell so many great stories of your patients and the different things. And I think if you were a city doctor, you wouldn't have the ability to really delve into them. Talk about how those experiences created this book called Spoonful of Courage and the equations that you give people. Well, I mean, you know, so once again, John, I have seen the best and the worst of people, you know, uh, and I've seen people respond in very just amazing, magnanimous ways to their circumstances. And I've also seen the rever reverse. And, you know, as you journey with people through their health crisis, you begin to kind of pick up certain patterns of the way that they think about their, their life challenges. And that's kind of where these formulas kind of came out. I first heard these formulas from um, Jack Canfield. Um, and there's also another book by Urban Meyer called uh, Above the Line. And it kind of gives the first two formulas. 
um, about how people, you know, kind of uh, think about their circumstances. But as I listen to them, I realized that there's another group of people, there's another group of thinkers, um, and that there was something missing in the equations. And as I, as I began to think about that, I realized that one of the things that's missing is uh, bringing a higher power into the equation. And that's kind of what we do in the, in the, in the second part of this book is that we, we look at it from a different perspective, adding a, a, what I call the grace factor into that. Okay. So you don't feel like you're going to be turning off people who are, oh, maybe I'm anti-religion. You, you think that this is a book for them? I think that there's something for everyone to get from the books, no matter what your particular religious perspective or your religious worldview is. Um, you know, I think that, uh, that there's something that you can, something that you can glean for that. For many people though, many people have um, never really even thought about a higher power for many reasons. I mean, and so we have to kind of take a step back and we have to kind of build the foundation of why many people believe in God and why many people incorporate God into their thinking, into their circumstances. And, you know, if anything, even a person who maybe doesn't have a particular uh, religious faith, I think it would benefit them to read it because it gives them a better understanding of people who do have religious, uh, religious faith and who do think that way and who do bring God into the equation of their lives. And so I think it helps both understand uh, where the other's coming from. And I think we need more of that in our, in our society these days. You know, everybody is, seems to be talking and nobody is listening. So having a, a greater understanding of people and why they think, I think is vital. All right, the book is called Spoonful of Courage. You can go to the website, which is spoonfulofcourage.com. He is Dr. Chuck Page and uh, Dr. Chuck, thank you. Great to be with you, John.